Hello, hello friends. So today what we're going to do is go over a little bit of algorithmic programming practice. Now what we've been doing lately is we've been on this uh, data structures grind on our basic programmatic skills playlist. We just finished up link lists yesterday, reversing link lists and stuff like that. We're about to move on to stacks and queues, but for today I didn't. I felt like we should take the foot off the gas a little bit and we'll just do some little bit of algorithmic programming to uh, keep the blade sharp. So uh, this one we're going to do is the mean, median, and mode algorithm. Not hard. So let's get started. So algorithmic practice, mean, median, mode. Objective, write an algorithm that calculates the mean, the median, and the mode of a given array. Sounds easy enough, not super hard. So what is the mean? The mean is basically the average of the array. What you want to do is add up a sum of the array. So you want to create a sum variable. You want to add that up, and then you want to divide by the uh, divide that sum by the length of the array. Not super bad. So the median is basically the middle element in the array. Um, but what you'd have to do is sort the array. So it has to be a sorted array. So we'll have to sort the array, then we'll check to see if it has an even or an odd number of elements. Depending on the elements, if they're odd or even, that will tell us a different uh, median value, how we calculate it. So if they're odd, we just pull, if the number of elements in the array are odd, we just pull out the middle, the middle index of a sorted array. If it's even number of elements, we need to take the center two uh, elements, we need to add them together and then divide by two to get the median. So the mode is the last part. So what is the mode? The mode refers to the element that appears most frequently in the array. So any time that somebody tells you like, hey, how many times does this appear in an array? Or what is the most common value in this string? Or what is the least common value in this? Or what is the first non-repeating in this? Um, basically, you're looking at either uh, dynamic programming mixed with uh, a new data structure that you're going to have to keep keep hold of. So in this case we'll use an object to keep track of the frequency of each element as it appears. And so I have another slide here. Let's code it out. Okay cool great great slide dude. Okay so here we go. So here's our file. We want to write a function that calculates mean, median, and mode. So let's just start off with the easy stuff. So we'll just go to function. We want to get the mean right here. And so the mean takes in an array, and like I said, mean is just the average, basically. So we'll go let sum equal zero, we'll initialize it to zero, and then we'll go for let num of r. So if you're working with arrays or strings, it would be for let variable name of array or string name. If you're working with objects, it would be for let variable name in object name. So of for strings and arrays, in for objects. So not super hard. So once we're uh, looping through this object, all we want to do is basically take sum and add to it the number that we're that we're iterating through, and then we'll just return uh, sum down here. So let's make an array. So we'll go const r equals uh, one uh, one one. So we know that the sum of this will be three. So let's just console log down here, and we'll say mean with r passed in. So this should give us three if everything's working good. Cool, it's working. That, give, that gives us the sum, but now what we need to do is return sum divided by the length of the array. So we'll go r.length. Now, in this case, it will just give us that, but we'll add some more stuff in here. And let's see what it gives us. So when we're calculating out the mean, if you don't wrap this in a math.floor, you're, you're most likely going to get a... Uh, a decimal point number like this. So if you're fine with that, cool, you can leave it there. Otherwise, if you want to get rid of the decimal number, you can just wrap it in a math.floor and put this um, in here. And then this should just give us eight, which is cool, which is the which is the mean of this array right here. Cool. So now let's do the median. Uh, again, not super hard. The only thing is we'd have to sort the array first because if you look at the array, it's not sorted. And sometimes we don't know what array is coming in. It could be sorted, it could be not sorted. So we just want to go right here off the top. We'll go r equals r dot sort. Sort is a built-in JavaScript method. It takes a callback, a and b. And with that, well, let me wrap this in a paren. So a and b. And with that, all we want to do is return a minus b. And so what that will do is that that will, um, let's take a look. Uh, that will sort the array. So down here, we'll go mean. And see, you can see that it sorts the array like that. So sort is a built-in JavaScript array method, 
built-in JavaScript method. If you want to take more look at it, I have more videos on on sorting that we can take a look at. But we're going to want to keep it moving right here because we still got a lot more stuff to do. So we'll say uh, we have the sorted array. So now what we need to do is we need to calculate if we're going to need to pull out the center element or if we're going to have to pull out two elements. So we'll go if r dot length l e n g t h mod two. If that's not equal to zero, that basically means that this is odd. Then we'll take our, but basically we want to pull out the center element of that sorted array, and that's going to be our median. So we'll just return r at r dot length divided by two. Now, since this is an odd number of elements, every time that you divide by two, it's going to give you a 0.5. So if you try to return that, you can see right here, it's just going to give you undefined. So what you want to do is wrap that in a math.floor, and that will uh, round down the 0.5. And then we return it here, and it's still undefined. <laughs> the reason that it's still undefined is because if we take r.length mod 2, the only way that this is going to run is if this is an odd number of characters. Right here, I think this is an even number, so we'll just add a 5 down here. So now, uh, so now it's it. Now it's an odd number of characters, and it returns that. So we have the if if there, and then the else here, because if it's not if it's not odd, it's got to be even. So we need to take the two center elements out of the array. So out of this sorted array, we need to take the two center, which looks like it'll be three and three, but we'll check. So we'll say let mid one equal r dot link uh, r at r dot link at r dot link. Uh, divided by two, and then that's the center element, but then the other element would be divided by two minus one, and we'll call this mid two. And then just to check to see what we're doing here, we'll go return a little array with mid one and mid two, just to make sure that we're getting the right elements. So let's take this five off right here. And let's go back down here and take a look. So we're getting three and three. So if you look at this or output of this array, yeah, three and three look like the middle right here. So what we want to do, instead of just returning like that, we want to take, uh, we want to return, and we'll just put some parens right here. We'll go mid one plus mid two, and then we'll divide those by two. And that's what we want to return. And that will be our median, so it's three. But if they weren't the same number, it would just add them together and divide by two. The reason we can do that is because the array is sorted here on line 14. Okay, so that's the median. Now let's do the mode. So let's do a function mode. And mode, again, is the amount of times, what, what is the element uh, that appears the most in the array? That's when they're asking for the mode. That's what they're asking for. Now let's say that we had uh, an array that looked like this. Let's say it just had one, one, one. There would be no mode of that array because the, there isn't something that appears more. But if we put a two right there, now one is the mode. So if we had two, 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 and one, 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 there's still no mode in this because they all appear the same amount of times. But if we put a three right here, we would want to return one and two because they both appear the same amount of times and they are both the mode. So a uh, little bit tricky. So let's figure out how to do it. So we're passing in the array right here. First thing that we need to do is create an object out of all of these, uh, out of this array elements. So we'll go const r obj, and we'll just initialize that equal to an empty object. So then what we want to do is, what can we use? We'll use a for each loop here. We'll go r dot for each takes in a callback. We get access to the elem. I'm calling it elem. You can call whatever you want. Call it number, whatever. Uh, and we'll say if not r obj at elem. So if there isn't anything at this value in the in the object, if there isn't an R object elem, then R object at elem is going to equal zero. And then we also want to R object at elem. We want a plus plus, so we want to increment it by one. So basically, this is just creating. If there isn't an R object elem, it's going to create it at zero. If there already is, it's just going to increment it by one. So right here, we can just uh, we can just return. Our obj and see what we're working with here. So let's go down here. Uh, mode 
and let's take a look at our object that we've created. So you can see that it shows the key is the is the actual element and the value is the amount of times that it, it occurs. Two and three are both modes right now because it, uh, two, one and two are both modes right now because they occurred three times. But let's, uh, let's handle this right here. So after we have our object, what we're gonna need to do is we get our object. Now we need to loop through that object and see what the most frequently occurring key is, right? So we'll go, uh, and, and again, if you're looping through objects, it's for in syntax. So we'll go for let key in uh, our obj. All right, so now we have the key in the R option. What we want to do is we want to check here. We'll say if R option at key, oh, we're going to have to set up a couple variables. I forgot, I'm sorry. So let's go let result. Uh, we just want an empty array at first initialize that we can push things to. That's why on line 33, we're using let instead of cons because we are actually going to actually completely change this array. We're gonna reassign it to something else. You'll see as we go. And then we'll let max, which we're also gonna reassign, we'll, we'll assign it to zero at first. So we'll say if our obj at key is greater than max, then what we wanna do is we wanna just set that result. Result is gonna equal an array with the key in it. And then we wanna set max equal to our obj at key. So the amount of times the key occurs. Else if, so if, basically if our object key is equal to max, so our object at key, if that's equal to max, then we don't wanna just completely reassign like we did on line 38. We just wanna push to the result array. We just wanna push into it that key. Okay, cool. So that'll give us our maximum amount, uh, our maximum occurring instances of each element in the array. But again, like we said earlier, if two and three both occur at the same time and there wasn't a one here, let's just say it like this. Like, let's say the array looked like this. If one and two were both there and they were both modes, we wouldn't want to return one and two. We would want to return an empty array. So let's do a check right here. We'll say if... Uh, the length of, so we'll go object dot keys at our obj dot length. If that is equal to the result dot length, then we want to set a result equal to an empty array. And then here we just want to return result. So let's check make sure all this works. And I'm gonna put all this code on GitHub if I'm going pretty fast on this. So node median, we have uh, mode medium, the mode is what we're finding right now. This should return an empty object because two, uh, because one and two occur the same amount of time. So let's go right here. And it does return an empty object, but you can see if we put a three right here, it should return one and two. So it does one and two. If we take away um, the twos and we just put like three, four, five right here, it should return one. Cool. If we just do right here, if we just do one, two, three, four, five, it shouldn't return anything but an empty array because they all occur the same amount of times. But if we put one more four right here, it should return four as the mode. Let's see that it does. Cool. So this is working. We've learned how to calculate the mean, median, and mode. If you wanted, you could just write a function called calculate, and that would take in an array, and you could format it. You could just, you could like run mean here, median mode. You could run all of those in this function and have an output. I don't necessarily think that that's necessary for this for this lesson. Uh, it's because it's very easy to do, and this this video is getting kind of long. So we've calculated the mean, median, and mode. I'll put all this code up on GitHub. Uh, it's just a one-off algorithmic thing. One of the main things to look at here is the uh, one of the things that was tricky to me when I was first figuring out how to do this was the reassigning of the uh, of the array right here. Um, so that was a little bit tricky. Um, what else was tricky here? It's all pretty straightforward. It's all a lot of like iterative solution kind of stuff. There's not any like recursion or anything super kind of hard to grasp. So uh, yeah, just check it out. I uh, hope you hope you liked it, and uh, 
before the next day or so, we're going to get back to our data structures uh, stuff that we've been working on. We'll be working on stacks and queues next, so look out for that video. And uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, yeah, all right, take it easy.